Welcome back to Titan Souls. Things are about to get very not safe for work in here, so if you happen to be at work, or maybe friends or family are around and you're listening on speakers, you might want to change that. So I got to thinking, I've made so many attempts at this boss. Should I cut out all future attempts except for the final one where I achieve a victory? And I realize the answer to this question is, no, I shouldn't. And the reason for that is that it might seem like what I'm doing here is just fighting a boss again and again, but I think it's really helpful to reframe what's happening and think of it in a different way. So think of this like... like tantric edging. Every time I fight this boss, I'm getting really close to an orgasm, and every time I'm defeated, I back off from that edge. So the fact that it's taking so many attempts to defeat this boss is actually a good thing, because if I achieved victory on the very first attempt, or one of the early attempts, I would come super quickly and it wouldn't feel great. It'd be a, you know, really lame orgasm. But since I'm edging so many times for so long of a period, when I do finally achieve the orgasm of victory, it is going to feel amazing. Ugh. Ow. Okay, now I do actually have an idea on how to defeat this boss. So, one of the things I was trying before was doing the shoot him once and then hit him again as I'm retrieving the arrow and then attempt to shoot him when he teleports with the retrieved arrow, so like this. Yeah, I was trying that, and as you can see, it's pretty close, but I can't quite do it. I just got the idea. What if I only hit him on the return? And what if I put the arrow really far away, so by the time it hits him, it's going really fast, which means it gets into my hands faster, which means I have more time to actually aim the arrow. So what if I do this? Like, what if I just plop the arrow right here? And then retrieve it, like, right here. Look at that. Hmm. That was a very short teleport. I think this plan might work. Before I was thinking that, I, I don't actually have enough time to do this, but... I was looking over some of the old videos, and I found a couple times when it looked like I maybe did have enough time. Hmm... I wonder why he's doing such a short teleport. Is it just to fuck with me? Does it know? Does it know what I'm trying to do? Maybe if I'm further away? Yeah, I was looking over the old video, and I was looking for some pattern to when it teleports. I can't freaking find one. I mean, I know it teleports when you attempt to shoot it. But aside from that, its teleportations seem completely random. back, asshole! It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine! I didn't want that arrow. To be honest, this boss fucking sucks. I'm not just saying that. I mean generally, like, this is just an unpleasant boss to fight. It's not even any fun anymore. I don't even really care. I kind of want to just look up a walkthrough or something.
There's a lot of things I want to say about this boss's design, but I don't really want to say it completely until I've actually defeated it. I want to speak ill of the dead after I've already made them dead. So I can shit all over their body. Alright, back to my old thing, what I was doing before. And by my old thing, I mean my new thing. The old thing in terms of this episode, not the previous episode. So let me try this again. The hit him while returning. What if I do it when I'm really far away? Oh, it doesn't even activate because I... Oh, it's a safeguard to make sure I can't go like down the stairs and out of the arena. I see. What the... Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Do you see what happened there? It's the way the, uh... It's the way it detects when it's in danger. It was looking at the trajectory of the arrow, and it realized that the arrow was going to hit it. But what it didn't account for is the fact that I was in the way of the arrow, and I was going to pick it up. But instead, it freaked out. Yeah, see, if I do this... Kind of funny. I can just imagine the game logic working underneath. Alright, so again, why is your teleport so freaking short? Balls. Really seems random where it teleports and for exactly how long. Alright, let's try the shoot through and return. So close. So damn close. Funny thing is, is when I finally achieve victory, I'm not gonna feel clever. I'm just gonna feel like I. Ooh, I got a lucky shot. Yay! I'm gonna keep trying this. It might work. I ruled this out before in the last episode, but I'm... I'm ruling it back in. So fucking close. You know, I even saw in a previous episode, uh, one case where my, um... My arrow was charged up. As in, it had, it had been shot out by him, all electrified. So it was charged up, charged up and electrified, and it hit the white arrow right next to him. And it didn't do anything. However, this was after I had died, so perhaps any kind of death effect or whatever was disabled because of that. Because of the fact that I was actually on the death screen when it happened. Because that was one of my ideas, is that maybe I need my charged arrow to hit the white arrow near him because it makes a special explosion. One that will actually knock me out. But, eh, I don't think so. That arrow is so fucking... I, I can't charge it up enough, it's so limp. It just goes like, bleh, out to him. Assuming I even aim at the right spot, it, it doesn't seem to be going fast enough. This boss reminds me of the time I played an adventure game and I tried to solve a puzzle by brute force and spent literally hours just pressing random tiles until I finally got the solution. Uh, that was a waste of time. This feels the same. I mean, I don't want to talk about the game design of it until I've finally defeated it, but... I kind of do, because there's not much else to talk about while I'm making these meaningless feeling attempts. Like, when I feel like I have to go back and watch the video of me fighting this boss from before, just to figure out the answers to some of my questions, 
you know something went really wrong. Because I, you know, when you're fighting a boss, one of the fun things to do, and one of the most interesting things is to develop all sorts of hypotheses on how you might defeat it. Like, oh, maybe if, you know, maybe there's an opening when it's doing that sort of attack animation, and there's my in to try to hit it. You know, you develop all these sorts of plans. Maybe if I shoot my arrow through the clouds of electrified stuff, it electrifies my arrow. All these ideas that pop up. But the fight is so chaotic that it's really hard to actually see what the hell is happening, and it's really, really, really difficult to even test these hypotheses. So when I feel like I have to go back and watch a fucking video of me fighting this boss just to even figure out the answers to some of those questions, like, that's just bad. There's literally no way this can end well. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter what happens. Even if I find out, like, oh, I missed something incredibly stupid, and oh, that solves the whole thing, and this boss fight's actually easy. Even if that is the case, I'm still gonna feel like I wasted my time. And if it isn't the case, I'm probably gonna feel like the my winning is cheap, because I'm probably just gonna get a lucky shot. I mean, there's, I can't see any way where this boss fight ends well. It's just been a bad experience through and through. Other than attempting this, the only thing I can really think of is just... Aim at a spot and hope it teleports there? Literally random? Like, literally just while fighting it, go like this and hope... Hey, I hope it teleports there. Oh, there it is. I win. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. I looked over where it teleports. It seems to teleport to random places, not anywhere predictable, not at predictable times, other than when I shoot it. But of course, once you shoot it, you don't have the arrow in your hand, so you can't shoot where it teleports to, because there's not enough time. <sighs> Let me try this again. Nope, not enough time. Am I really going to try random strats? Aim at a random spot and hope it teleports there? Is this what I've been reduced to? I might. I feel like what I'm doing now might work, but it's going to be a lucky shot, pretty much. Mmm, okay. Getting a little bit closer. Seems to work okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let me try shooting it from closer. Normally I'm shooting it from right about here. Let me try shooting it from here. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Let me try getting, getting even closer. I don't even know why I dodged, there's no point, just kill me, it's faster. Does it always teleport here? Like, it always seems to teleport over here. What if I shoot it from here? Will it teleport, like, into me? It does also seem to kind of tend to uh, separate after making a shot. It doesn't always do it, though. I looked at the video. It does not always do it. It's not predictable, but it does tend to do that. After it shoots, it tends to dodge within the next second. I'll try standing on this little marker. Maybe it means something. Probably not. I'm trying to use the D-pad to aim perfectly, diagonally. Uh, 
Sure. No, fuck that. It's naught but ground graffiti. Close strats. Nah. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm not quite decided on random strats, but that's most likely what I'm gonna do. It does always... it always seems to teleport there on the right. It's like the boss is specifically designed to know. Because if you do this, it teleports so quickly you don't possibly have time. Yeah, you can see how it does tend to teleport after making a shot. Man, give me any boss in Dark Souls over this. Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, I don't care. Any damn... I can't think of any boss in any of the Souls-related games. That was nearly as unpleasant as this. It seems like the first teleport is short. The second one is long. I don't know why. Like, the only time I can actually get it to teleport to a predictable place is right at the freaking beginning. Hold on, does it always teleport, like, top left, bottom right, and then top left again, and then bottom right is, like, cycle between those as locations? Is that what's going on? Because at the beginning it always seems to go top left and then bottom right. Let's test it. Top left. Bottom right. Top right. Maybe there is some pattern to where it teleports? Not necessarily when it teleports, but where? Let's test it. Again, top left. Bottom right. I, I don't know, I lost track. It teleported on its own. Alright, I'm going to try random strats. I'm going to assume that the second time it teleports, it's going to teleport to the bottom right. I'm going to wait for it to shoot me. I'm going to dodge the shot, and then hope it teleports about a second afterwards. Okay. I wonder if it doesn't dodge because it knows I'm charging the arrow. Whoops, that's not good. Okay. Cool. Yay! I defeated the boss randomly with a lucky shot. I'm so happy. That wasn't like a tantric edging orgasm, that was like just fucking flaccid crap.
<laughs> that's the end of the game. <laughs> Those are my final words on the game. It was fucking flaccid crap. <laughs> that's such a shitty boss. I fucking hate that boss. I loathe it. Absolutely loathe it. God, what a terrible boss to end on. Ugh. I want to use a, a comparison. I want to say that was like, this playing this game was like having a dessert, but the final bite, bite tasted like feces. It's not quite accurate, though. Before I elaborate, let's see what's going on. Why am I floating? Hard mode, the real challenge? Uh-huh. Is that like in Dark Souls where like, the real fight begins here? Or whatever it is they say 20,000 times. Like, you get to the end of the game and you find uh, something scribbled on the ground that says, now the real fight begins. It's like, what do, you, what do you mean the real fight begins? The real fight began when I started the game. No rolls? No thanks. Iron mode? No thanks. Hard mode? No thanks. Is this heaven? Uh, do I have to fight you? I guess I am fighting you. So this is not the end of the game? Wait, so I finished the game and then I get to fight Truth? Alright, well our flaccid conversation will continue later. Hold on. At least it takes me straight to the boss right away. That's nice. Nope, can't do that. Hmm, where's my opportunity to shoot it? I can't charge my arrow and wait for it to come down, the, uh, the first one, because... While I'm doing that, the second one will kill me. I'm assuming I need to kill both, right? And I can't shoot it right there. Well, I guess right there is my... yeah, okay. I see my opening. Right now. Wait, what? I just sworn that was my opening. Maybe I just missed. So just run. I think I need to do it when they're not spinning. There we go. Oh, wait, I didn't even need to hit both. Or, oh, multi-staged, huh? Is this part of the main game, or is this like New Game Plus or something? Alright, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh, I see one... There's one that came out that uh, I need to shoot. It's purpley. Where did it go? Where's my little purpley friend? These things are creepy as hell. Look at them watching me. Can I shoot them? Seems unwise to shoot them. Oh, Jesus. Where's my arrow? Oh, God, where's my arrow? Do I have it on me? No, no, it's not on me. I don't know where the one went that I need to kill. Don't tell me I have to do the whole thing again, do I? Oh, 
Oh, joy. Well, there's him, arrow. Looking for the special one? Where's the one with the... Oh, there it is. Um, how good is my aim? Not that good. Oh, there's another one. Are there multiple ones? Or is it the same one and just went through another place? Oh! Oh! Fuck my arrow! Where did it go? How do these things even know where I am? They don't have any, like, nostrils or eyes or anything. I find these to be anatomically implausible. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a little bit too many. Probably should go for the quick kill. At least I've got this kind of reliably down. Of course, now that I say it, I'll probably miss it. Nope. Alright, let's look at this one. Nope, let's look at this one. Oh, there it is. Son of a bitch, come back here! Oh, fuck. Ow, you bastard! waiting for it to come through the portal, hopefully. If I stop to even charge my arrow, I'm dead. Where is it? Oh, fuck. Just missed it. Seems like if I miss the first one, I'm screwed. Alright. It's probably another stage, right? Come on. Oh god. I should not have shot my arrow. Come fucking hell. I'm never gonna get my arrow back. There it is. Yay. Oh, it looks like the ones with eyes don't actually kill you when you hit them. They just push you back. What am I doing? Alright, I'm assuming they it's not randomized where it comes out, so it is going to come out here again. I'm assuming. Hmm, looks like it did. Comes out on the left side.
Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright, this time, don't shoot the arrow. So it's gonna come out. Uh, I didn't see where its weak point is. I mean, obviously you shoot it in the eye, but I mean, I didn't see it reveal its weak point. Uh, it shoots a laser, so I need to go sideways. That much is obvious. Maybe I need to have it, like, laser... I don't know, its own foot off or something? I wonder if its foot can kill me. Oh, wait, actually, when it's going to shoot its laser, it's down. Fuck! Oh, God! Things are getting worse! God damn, kill one of your own people! Come on, some friendly fire, please! This boss fight's actually kind of pretty looking. I can't stop to charge my shot. Ah! Fuck, it's so close! Look at how fucking close it is! Jesus. When the hell is my opportunity to shoot? Okay, I need to run and dodge, actually, to get some... Oh, God. Gives me a little bit more speed. Give me my fucking arrow back. I can't even get my fucking arrow back. How am I still alive? There's my arrow. Come here. Yeah, okay. I feel like I need to kill that thing right away, like, before they all accumulate, because then there's just a freaking wall of them. I can't shoot through them, my arrow's just gonna bounce off them. I think. Well, I missed. Kill me. some randomization. Could have sworn it came out the left side before and this time it came out the right. If I have to fight like deception after this boss, I'm quitting. Little fucking ball. Little fucking sproutling. Right when he goes to right when he goes to shoot the first laser. Ah fuck. Alright. <laughs> they cleverly designed it so that it doesn't shoot its first laser before the enemies show up, of course. I was hoping. But it was not to be. the hell? I don't even know what's happening anymore. I'm not gonna hit it from here. Just, just kill me. Kill me! Uh. Roll me like a pie crust.
No, come back here. Ah, uh. oh, fuck. It's over. Kill me. That's another thing I don't like about the boss design. Like, that really is another thing I really don't like. Is... If it gets to the point where... Just kill me. If it gets to the point where it feels like it's easier just to die rather than to keep trying. Like, that's really lame. The final boss, so to speak, seems to have really um, unearthed all the things I don't like about this game. It's really brought them to the forefront. I'm not sure what changes, uh, what direction they come at you from. Might be where you're at on the map. Because they're hitting me in different ways this time. Yeah, I think it's where you're at on the map. Looks like if I'm, in, if I'm in the third quadrant, then I'm okay. Then they attack me from the direction that they've been attacking me in the past. So let's stay in the third quadrant. Alright, so it's the 11th one that comes out that is the thing. Assuming that's consistent, it might be. Oh, close. Alright, well let's see if it's consistent. If it is the 11th one that comes out, then it should be a lot easier to get next time. Because then I don't have to stop and hope. Third quadrant, third quadrant, third quadrant. Oh, I actually shouldn't have dodged there. Alright, back to the third quadrant. Mm, no, it's different than what... No, wait, that's the same, I guess. Well, eh, whatever. It seems so much harder if you don't get him the first time. I don't know, maybe they get excited? After you wake them up the first time, they get excited and they're more responsive? Probably not. Hmm. Alright, kill me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, it's consistent. Strats, consistent strats. Count strats. Number strats. Counting number strats. Boing. Fuck. No consistent way to shoot that thing, though. Come on.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've already lost my opportunity. Well, maybe not. There we go. All right, are you fucking dead? For real? For truth? Truth? Alright, I murdered Truth. <laughs> Is it gonna play the credits again? I mean, I thought I ended before. Oh, okay. Can I skip the re-credits? I mean... Is there gonna be another Truth to defeat or something? Like, I don't know if that was New Game Plus or what. Well, I'm not going to say anything until I see what happens again. I don't know if that's actually the end of the game. Credits are pretty short, I think. Let's just wait a second. New game modes unlocked. Truth translated text. Oh, so it makes all the foreign, uh, un unreadable text turn into readable text. And I gained that because I killed Truth. Okay. Hmm. I think that might be a New Game Plus kind of thing, because I, I see four icons there in the center, and the one that's lit up is the eye, which is Truth, translated text. Looks like there's three others. So I get. Where do I start now? Like, am I? Do I go back to the beginning of the game? Okay, that's weird. So you go, you go back to where you were before, and then defeat Truth, and then you go back to the beginning. What? Like, was that part of New Game Plus, or or what? I'm confused. Anyway, I have pretty much no interest in doing anything with this game anymore. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk a bit about the design of it. Um, this game is very much a mixed bag. And the bag gets a lot, um, mixier towards the end. Because for the most part, this game didn't really annoy me that much, and I mostly enjoyed it up until the last... Well, last in air quotes, last boss. But that last boss really annoyed me. It's definitely a mixed bag. I mean, there's some things about it that are really great. It's got really nice art. It's got really nice music. Interesting locations. It's got very simple mechanics. Which is um, an interesting kind of thing that I don't normally see in, um, in... In most games, really. Especially in any kind of a game where you're defeating enemies. It's not typical to have such simple mechanics. And I actually kind of like it. That's not to say I want every game to be this simple. But... Generally speaking, I don't really like... RPGs with stats and stuff like that. I don't really like leveling up and, you know, imbuing weapons with stuff and blah blah blah. And for the most part, that's not something I really enjoy. I kind of find it just kind of uh, annoying micromanagey kind of stuff. So it's actually pretty refreshing and really interesting to see a game that just does away with all of that. There are no items to collect, there are no levels, there's no equipment, there's only one shot. Your one arrow that you have to return back to yourself. Super, super simple. I think that's pretty cool. And some of the fights are just pretty freaking epic. 
a mixture of the uh, the great art and the music, and just kind of interesting boss mechanics, can often oftentimes comes together into something really interesting. Like I think one of my my favorite fights, if not my f if not the f complete favorite, is probably the one with the uh, the fight against the lava goo or whatever you want to call it. That I think was really really cool. You know, it was pretty. It was a very challenging fight, but where I think it's different from some of the other fights and what frustrated me so much about the last fight or, well, I guess the one from the last fight is that it, it felt like I was actually learning something as I kept fighting it as I kept fighting the lava goo I kept learning new things about it at first it was just, oh, what are its attack patterns it's throwing lava at the walls and it's kind of sucking the lava back in, oh, the lava kills me that's interesting, oh, it throws a bomb out at me that explodes and the lava touches it hmm, that's interesting and then I was trying to figure out its weak point, and then I ended up figuring out that if you shoot it when it's sucking in, it sucks in the arrow, and then when you try to suck in the arrow that it sucked in, you can move it. You gain control over it. So then it kind of just naturally leads from one thing to the next to the next to the next until eventually you figure out that you need to attract it into the bomb that it itself throws at you, and blow it up using that, and then shoot it. So, you know, there's an interesting learning process. It was very iterative. Every fight I was kind of testing out a new thing, and... You know, there's a lot of, there were a lot of potential solutions, a lot of hypotheses that I kept coming up with, and it was actually fairly reasonable to actually test my ideas. So it was engaging and interesting to keep coming back, and keep attemp attempting the boss again and again until I finally got it. So that was really cool. But some of the other boss fights are not like that. So Lava Goo is definitely one of the high points. Any sort of a boss where it's actually interesting to fight them repeatedly, or there's something new to learn, something new to test, something new to apply, that's interesting. But then there's others that are just ridiculously easy. Some of them are just obscenely easy. Especially the two kind of cubes. Or, well, they're not really both cubes, but the two things that roll at you. Let me actually move over to it right now. Uh, you've got the one that's on, like, the checkered board. And then there's also the other one, which is, it's not quite a ball, it's nearly a ball, but the one that's like fiery, the fiery ball thing that rolls towards you. And both of those, both of those are pretty similar, they just kind of roll at you and you just need to shoot their, their weak point when they roll at you, and they're both really, really easy and really quick. And there's also, for example, the kind of secret boss that I found in the melted ice cave. The one where I shot the arrow through the fire and then melted the ice and then went inside. That one I defeated in, what, minutes? So some of the bosses are interesting and, you know, fun puzzles to kind of try to figure out, but some others are just over so quickly that it just feels kind of pointless. It's like, oh, that that's it? Okay. They're over and done with. It, it's not that they're too easy, really. It's really just that they're not interesting to fight. You kind of look at them for five seconds and then you know everything you need to know about them, and then you're done. And then there's also, <laughs> as you saw, the final boss. Which is a clusterfuck. Utter clusterfuck. I think that boss was really, really poorly designed, to be frank. Whereas with the other bosses, they're usually either fairly interesting or just way, way too easy and too simple to be of any interest whatsoever. But the problem with the final boss is just that it's really hard to tell what the fuck is going on. Again, the interesting thing about fighting most of these bosses is trying to understand them trying to understand their mechanics, trying to predict their behavior, iterative process of attempting new things, you know, there's the flow of ideas where, hey, maybe this works, maybe when the boss is doing this, that's my opportunity, that's where I want to use, you know, uh, hit their weak point. There's that whole process, and it's fun to explore that, but with the final boss, there's so much stuff happening that I couldn't even tell what the hell was going on. I was developing hypotheses, you know, maybe this, maybe that, maybe if I shot my arrow through those electric storm things, my arrow becomes charged and I need to hit it with a charged arrow. All sorts of ideas like that, but so many of them are just really hard to test, or even if you do test them, it's really hard to tell what the results of the experiment were because there's shit going on all over the screen and oftentimes you can't even look at wherever the experiment is happening. Like you shoot an arrow and, you know, then I have to dodge out of the way of some thing and then the lightning's flashing and it's raining. You know, there's just all this crap going on on screen that I don't even know what's happening. It's just confusing. It's like a it's like a puzzle where you, you're given like 2,000 blocks like it just throws you it throws all these blocks at my face and wants me to solve the puzzle 
And the actual puzzle is just figuring out that, oh hey, I only need one block out of those 2,000 to shove into the hole and that solves the puzzle and the rest are all just like noise. It's kind of like that, where there's just all this crap happening and it's really hard to test any of my ideas and I don't know what the hell's going on and stuff is too fast and there's too much lightning and it's just annoying. Just like tons and tons of noise. There wasn't an interesting flow of ideas because I couldn't test any of my damn ideas. Just, it wasn't good. And then when I finally solved it, I didn't even really solve anything. In reality, what happened is I finally, basically, I finally gave up on coming to an interesting solution and resorted to aiming at a spot where he might teleport and shooting at just the right time. And hey, it worked, and basically I got a lucky shot. So I literally spent over an hour attempting that boss, trying to come up with interesting ideas. None of the interesting ideas panned out, and in the end, a fucking random, lu mostly lucky shot killed him. Like, completely flaccid. Completely flaccid end. All that time spent, all that time invested, and all that frustration, and in the end, I didn't come to a clever solution, I didn't make a super skillful shot, I just basically got a lucky shot. I, I can't think of anything more frustrating and unsatisfying than that, like, what a waste of time. That's a really bad boss. So it's such a strange mixed bag. Some of the bosses are genuinely quite good. The art's great, the music's really great. The mechanics are interesting and very different from any game I've ever played. But then you have bosses that are over with so quickly that nothing interesting even happened. And then you have bosses that are so annoying, like the one from the final boss, that they're just completely aggravating. So, it's weird. It's really weird. Yeah, I'm really not sure what else to say about it. It's such a strange mixed bag. I'm just trying to think to myself, if, if you know, if somebody said, do you think I should play this game, would I recommend it to them? I don't know what I would say. Kind of? Play the whole game except the end boss, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's really strange. Well, anyway, that has been my, um, my tumultuous experience with Titan Souls. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.